All right, so we've gone through this long process of building out a component library. It's not any longer than just building components. I promise you that. But it is a process to go through, especially to watch in a video. How do we actually go ahead and use this? Well, let's go ahead and see it. So I know I'm going to be building a form, so I'm going to have my stories open just in case I need to reference those. And then we can actually go to where I'm building my form, which will be in index.js. And we're going to go ahead and comment out our storybook uh, import because we're actually writing our app now. And I need to import a handful of things, just like every time. We've got React. We're going to import the safe area view from React Native. We're also going to import that form component, our text input, and our switch from uh, what is it? Dot forward slash components slash form. And then we'll import our button from dot components button. Okay, cool. So we've got everything. Notice we don't have that field wrapper because the text input and switch uh, kind of implement that behind the scenes. We can now go ahead and start implementing our component. So we know, uh, well, so first off, we're going, let's take a breath. Let's make sure things are actually imported. Okay, so we are using our own app now. We're returning null. That's perfect. Uh, first, we're going to use that safe area view because if we don't, then our form's gonna be bumping into this notch on the iPhone 10 or whatever device you're working on. It's likely got a notch now. So we're gonna add that. As a style to this, we're gonna go ahead and add a flex one so it takes up the full screen. And then we can go ahead and start adding things. So we know we've got our form. What's that prop that we can pass to it? Let me scroll down here. Uh, right, okay, it's the header and subheader. So let's go ahead, add these in here if I can type. Header is going to equal hello, and our subheader is going to equal please create a new account. Hey, looking good, looking good. All right. So our form is going to do what? Well, we want our email, right? I'd say we'd want to capture an email. Um, for our email, we want to set our keyboard type because we can. It's just forwarding everything along. That's going to be email address. We're going to have a text input with a label of password. Let's make this a secure text entry. We're going to do a confirm password. All right, save this. Let's look at it. Cool, we've got the things happening. Can add things. We've got our keyboard type. We've got our password looking good. Um, let's go ahead and add a switch in here. The label for this is going to be agree to terms. And then finally, let's add some buttons in here. So we'll have a sign up. And then we're going to have a second button with an outline. And we'll set this to sign in. Cool, so we've actually got our little form here. We've got our different fields. We're not capturing any data. If you wanna figure out how to actually build uh, kind of the plumbing of a form, check out the other guide, Formic Yup Forms in React Native on reactnativeschool.com. But you can see here kind of how we took all of those building blocks. We built up each piece of this form and kind of really well uh, described them and you know, demonstrated how to use them in our stories. And it makes development easy. Say this screen was, you know, 15 nested rows in or nested screens in. Uh, each change you make, you don't want to have to go in 15 screens to change something. You can just test it all on your form, your stories, and you see all of that. That iteration speeds a lot faster. And then you can go and confirm it when it's, you think you've got everything, you can con confirm it in the actual screen. And also, the really nice thing is our actual component here, our index.js, or say this is your signup.js, it's a really simple screen to use, or it's really screen, simple screen to look at and figure out, okay, we've got our label, our label's the label. There's not a bunch of styling stuff in here. It's all very clean. It's going to be very concise. If you want to change the size, let's just say, of the label um, to... Let's make this a 28 instead. 
one thing, boom, we updated everything. And that's kind of that advantage of having a really clear reusable component library in place so that you can make changes in one place and it'll update every instance of that. So you have that consistency. You don't have uh, like any weird bugs that you forgot to miss. So it's nice to kind of take a design, even if it's just a basic sketch, break that down into components and kind of build that uh, in various building blocks into a component library so that you've got this very easy to use set of components uh, to actually build your application out of. And like I said in this video or another one, uh, it really doesn't take that much more time if you look at it in the long term, like putting these stories in place, you've got that documentation there, you've got uh, really a great API that's very intentional. And as we'll see in a, the video I'm about to record, which will be the next one for you, you can actually get free tests from doing this as well, which is absolutely awesome uh, to confirm all the functionality is going to stay the same. So with that, I'll close this out and then we can go ahead, write a few free tests and we can all, you know, take some time off the computer and kind of let this all set in. So I'll see you in the next one.